Hello everyone, Mad Angels here. Uh, I'm doing something a little bit different from the normal music and chapters of the Tao Te Ching. I may do different books in the future once I've finished Tao Te Ching, maybe something along those lines, a bit more philosophical for you, but I wanted to start this video. I had a lot of ideas, and one of my ideas was I wanted to make critiques, and not critiques maybe all the time, but videos where I talk about things that are important to me or things that I see, things that I notice. And I was watching a video of this band at the drive-in, my favorite band of all time, uh, performing in Australia in 2001 at the Big Day Out Festival. And it's interesting because I've been watching that video since I was maybe like 11, 12, 13, maybe a little bit older, 12, 13, 14, downloading it on Kazaa and on LimeWire when that was still a thing. And I remember watching those videos, piecing it together because I'd already listened to the band so much and I never saw what they, what they looked like live. And then when I watched it, I couldn't believe it. Just, you know, Omar Rodriguez Lopez just flailing, throwing his guitar around, just like all cr doing crazy. Uh, Tony, the drummer, just thrashing. Uh, Paul, the bass player, thrashing. And Cedric just absolutely like shredding the crowd, like screaming, singing and throwing the microphone stand, and Jim holding it down as Jim Ward does, as, as from what I've noticed in my life, not that I know him personally, although I wish I had played with Sparta or something like that, but it just, watching that video, it really, it defined my adulthood. When I was a kid, I watched that, and that's all I wanted to do, because I had a lot of energy. I still do have a lot of energy, a lot of pent-up rage, a lot of pent-up frustration, you know, for a variety of reasons. And as I've gotten older, it has mellowed out. Fair enough. But it's still there, and when I watch them play, it just comes right out. I just want to thrash on the drums. I just want to, like, shred the guitar, throw my guitar around. Even to this day, I played a show quite recently where I threw my guitar, and it felt great. It was amazing, and didn't break or anything, so rock and roll. But it's really... Even though, like, if you watch the video, most people won't enjoy it. It won't be enjoyable to, like, 95% of people. Just because it's, like, it's distorted, it sounds rough, it's angry, it's vicious sounding. But for me, it really hit, and my whole adult life I spent pursuing that high, I guess you could say. And I did it. I played in bands for many years. I've been playing in bands for 14 years now and I played a lot of shows and I played a lot of shows where I you know I uh, I what's the word I'm looking for I was going to say aped the performance of like Omar and Cedric but it's more that I was very influenced by it but I still was doing my own thing I never truly like had a band that I had a band very briefly that sounded a lot like at the drive-in but it didn't last very long, and that's probably a good thing because there was only one, you know, there's only one at the drive-in, and they came out of nowhere. Like, they came out of El Paso, Texas, and they played to nobody for, like, years, and then finally they hit it very, very large, and they did really, really well, I mean, relatively, and at the, the height of that, they called it quits, and... And I never saw them play live, not even at the reunion shows, not even at the reunion shows with Keely Davis, uh, who, interestingly enough, was the guitar player in Sparta for a while, which is kind of a strange uh, coincidence. I guess they all know each other, so that, that makes sense. Keep it in the family, as they say. But I never saw any of the reunion shows. I had tickets to go to one, but it got canceled because Cedric uh, injured himself really badly, had a really bad vocal injury. So my whole life, I'm always going to be chasing that performance, chasing the performance of them in Australia, like imploding on stage. At that Australian show, they literally stopped playing after five songs. They they stopped their set because people were just moshing too hard. Nowadays, that doesn't really happen, you know. People are crowd surfing. Uh, but people aren't as violent, I think, as they used to be. I feel like they aren't. It doesn't seem really like they are. 
at least the shows that I've been to. I've gone to so many shows and I've been the only person dancing. And, you know, it's usually pretty tame. I find people to be pretty tame, generally. And maybe that's just the achy pop in me talking, but it's like, yeah, I've been covered in blood. I've been, like, bashed up and it's like, and dancing and... I mean, I don't, I'm older now, so it's not like I do that stuff all, like, all the time. I wake up and roll around in glass, like Iggy Pop would or something, but it's just that they stopped playing, and it was so chaotic and crazy, and yeah, and I was talking to someone recently, and they were just talking about how bad it sounded, that video, and it's like, fair enough, it, it you know, it does sound bad, but just the fire in that performance, the f- absolute fire of the band. It's just fire and lightning, like rock and roll lightning, just poosh, completely changed my adult life. If I hadn't been so in love with that band, maybe I would have never gotten over like the Blink 182s and the Sim 41s. Like that was like the early era for like all of us at, if you were like a 10 or 11 year old, you know, at the turn of the century, basically you would remember those like pop punk and skateboarding was just prevalent that was like the main main culture and at the drive-in for me just came out of nowhere came out of absolutely nowhere and yeah it was just unbelievable and i really recommend watching that video i really recommend checking it out even though i know that if you watch it you probably will not appreciate it nearly in the same way that i do not even close but it's just something to experience uh, the Driving was a true lightning in the bottle experience when they were like when they were at before they broke up the first time that was truly like lightning in a bottle you know when they came back they had that record uh, Inter Alia which was a good record It I find that it lacks the sensitivity of Jim Ward I find that it lacks that uh, for some reason I'm, I mean I don't know what I'm talking about but it's it lacks that kind of like emo backbone. It's it's all like it's all like heavy. There's no like sensitivity. There's no ballady kind of songs in there or like ballady chord progressions, anything like that. I'm not sure if I know the real story or anything, but that's just something I noticed. But you know, I've been driving is an extremely meaningful band to me. One of my fair it's my favorite band of all time. Uh, the only thing that comes close to it is my love of Joni Mitchell. But in any case, you should check out that video. It's at the drive-in performing at Big Day Out Festival in 2001. And yeah, keep on rocking all day. And I'll catch you later.